Good Saturday morning, everybody. We start this morning with an, an unopening of Michelle's latest record. We actually listened to this under it in the car on the way home last night. It's a All Out Boy. Oh, Fall Out Boy. Yeah, Michelle's new record. Which you already likes because you've listened to it, yeah? Yeah, because I got a uh, because I bought it through Amazon. I got a auto rip. Yeah, digital di digital di digital download of the album. So we were listening to it in the car on the way home last night. So yeah, wow, amazing cover. What color? I was thinking suspicion that might be going on again. Maybe, maybe not. We're actually shuffling music. We just turned it down a bit so that. Uh, I've had my advertising taken off me. I don't uh, want to have yeah. my, I don't want to get copyrighted as well. Good standing ruined in a weekend. What? Chuffed? Chuffed, yeah, absolutely. I've had this on pre order for months. Oh, sorry. Bad camera work, Alan. I've had this on pre order for months, so Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna it's well, it's just gone dinner time actually. I've had my bowl of cornflakes for my dinner. Keep blood sugar up, you know. And uh, I'm going to do a bit of editing because I need to get something up tonight. But today is going to be a do nothing day. Moving on. Okay guys, following on from last night's fail, I have now handed over my Cineworld card to Michelle, correct? Correct, it's in my purse. So there you go, I am now no longer responsible. Well, they're always responsible in the first place, apparently, according to Michelle. I think the words were irresponsible. I don't think I ever use that word to describe you. So you don't think I'm irresponsible? Should try harder then, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. We've decided that we've got no shopping in, by the way. We've got no food in. And that tired, need to rest. We've decided we ain't doing anything. And it's going to be a takeaway night and a film night. And we've just had our film de debate again. And who gets to pick? I do, because you picked last night. I rest my case. I never get to pick. You did too, you picked yesterday. And you picked when Gary was here. Twice. Twice. I don't remember that. Yeah, so what are you thinking of watching? They're on the side track. Okay, I'll go and add all the bad videos. Moving on. Okay guys, it, it's gone dark. Now I've made a little bit of a mistake. Uh, we're going out to a beer and cheese tasting uh, do tomorrow, and I've deleted the email confirming our, our booking. So, not only do we not know what time it starts, we can't prove we're on it. So, might be going beach shopping with Michelle. Anyway, we've ordered the takeaway, and it's just about to arrive because he's apparently driving around the village, lost. And it must be a long way away. Oh, here he is. So, it's Chinese takeaway. I thought, no, no, I've gone for chicken, haven't I? And you've gone for con concoction. Anyway, we're going to sit down now and Michelle's going to choose a film. And I'm going to the door. Moving on. Okay, guys, so our takeaway's here. Michelle's opened a couple of beers, because we haven't got any wine, so I'll take a beer. And it's snowing. So, we're going to enjoy this. I'll we'll see what film Michelle picks. I'll let you know. Moving on. We have just been watching the grossest thing. Getting bugs in your ears or insects in your ears. It just showed a guy though, uh, he, he said he was walking through a yard or a backyard or, a, or somebody's garden or something. And an insect went under on his ear and went in his ear and he couldn't get it out. You could see him, they were filming and fighting it, uh, trying to get it out. Oh, and it was horrible. And then it told us that What's the thing that goes in your ear the most? Cockroaches. Cockroaches climbing your ear. Mm, 
41% of all bugs removed from, removed from people's ears in hospital are cockroaches. And I've only ever seen one, and I was at Starbucks at Epcot. Last time we went to Florida, I was inside getting coffee. And everybody's freaking out because this bug Insect. was crawling about on the floor of Starbucks. Everybody's like, ah, ah, and I just went up and went, stomp. And I lifted my foot, and the thing kept moving. I went, oh my god. So I stomped on it again. And I'm like, well, that's dead. And I went, what is it? So I went, it's a cockroach. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> and walked off. Murdered a cockroach in Starbucks. I thought cockroaches were the kind of thing that you only saw in, like, you know, places that were never cleaned and stuff but you know this was Disney <laughs> there you go there's a scoop for you cockroaches like Disney uh, anyway Saturday night we had a really restful day we've got a restful morning tomorrow and then we're out for a few hours and then that will be, that'll be the weekend that's assuming that we can actually get to our beer tasting thing now I'll delete the email but in my defence you let me Do you just randomly go about deleting emails? Yes. You know. It's a common practice where I work. Yeah, don't. <laughs> it's not a common practice where, when I, in my job, because it's don't. so much easier than, than reading them. Just don't. Because you read them, you get work. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to call it in a vlog tonight, so that's Saturday over. <laughs> Three goes. I still remember when it took me four goes and I give up, mm -hmm. and you laughed at me. I did. It was funny. It wasn't for me, I was getting dizzy. Anyway, with that, it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from him. Good night, see you all in the morning. Mm -hmm.